So Carly Russell, the young lady who carried out a hoax in which she said to have seen a baby get kidnapped on the side of the road, has been ordered to pay $18,000 in fines. And the judge is rep recommending that she get a year in jail as well. But we'll see what happens with that as we go to the news right here. What does this mean? Could Carly Russell face jail time? Uh, the, cha the answer is to that, Adrian, yes, indeed, she could. The question really is how much jail time? The 26-year-old nursing student was ordered by a judge to pay more than $18,000 in fines. The judge also recommending a one-year jail sentence. But with that decision already facing an appeal, this case could end up in the hands of a jury. Carly Russell was found guilty on two misdemeanor counts, filing a false police report and falsely reporting an incident. Russell's attorneys telling News Nation they have no issue with the financial consequences, but appealed the ruling because the judge recommended jail time. Under the circumstances uh, of class A misdemeanor, first offense, if you can find where someone would put in jail, just bring the file to me and I'll look at it. Generally, they're not put in jail. So we totally disagree with that. Uh, restitution, we don't disagree with that. Uh, but to, to lock up and put in jail, we disagree. To be honest, some people are wondering if $18,000 in restitution is enough as when you gather the amount of money that was spent in deploying this search for the baby and for Carly and all of this stuff. You know, it, I don't know the exact number, but it definitely seems like a lot more than $18,000 was spent in deploying this search over someone that just wanted attention. And when you when you put that into the mix, I think this is why the judge recommended that she do some jail time up to a year. Now, as the lawyer said, you know, show me the case that most people don't do jail times in these in these cases, but we're in a new time. And I think in this new time, the judge is trying to convey to a message that says somebody going to have to, you know, get some punishment and feel some repercussions of what y'all are doing, because y'all y'all can't just keep lofting out these hoaxes and these elaborate stories and giving the full force of the law behind you and then. Oh, you know what? We were just we were just playing. We were just lying. Like we just seen a brick lady story in which she said a, a guy hit her in the face with a brick because she didn't give him the the phone number. It's been since determined that this very much looks like a hoax as well. She has done this before, right? And on the night that she did it, she went out with a face mask on going went before she went out, right? So her face was already lumped up. She was hiding it. And then at which some point she took the mask off and it was like, went into this whole spiel of this, that, and other. And then you have another guy who was um, solidifying the story. Oh yeah, I've seen the whole thing. She got hit with a brick. I saw it and this, that, and other. And I don't know if he was a part of her scheme or if he was just a separate guy that was just trying to latch on. We've seen the latch on happen with the McDonald's story of the woman and the baby mama talking about the baby daddy wouldn't bring all the kids to McDonald's. Y'all remember that, right? But either way, the brick lady story seemed like a batch of lies that was being told to the public. And this young lady garnered 40 some thousand dollars to her GoFundMe after this, talking about medical expenses and this, that, and other. But yet, when, when the people were asking, did she produce a, a police report or this, that, and other, she, she took so much video of her yelling in the street, but she didn't get, you know, nobody had video of the guy's plate, a license plate or when he sped off or it, it was said that he went from this car to that car before he sped off. Nobody got no license plate. Nobody got no car. Nobody got no picture of him. It was just so much stuff that was hoaxy about this. And it's like, how many times are y'all going to allow women like this to play a joke on the people and there be no consequences. The, 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 the brick lady was said to, to, uh, she got like 40,000, 40 some thousand to her, um, go fund me. And they are investigating it, whether they are going to take it back or not. But I'm just saying, <clears throat> if she got that, It's, it's just like, how, I, I think the sentiment that the judge was saying was, I think Carly Russell, although this was a hoax and this didn't really harm anybody, 
it took time and people and effort and a lot of money. And it was said that that 18,000 might not have been enough, as I said before, to cover the amount of money that was spent deploying all these people to search for the baby and Carly and all of this. But maybe the fines isn't enough as the judge is trying to say here. Maybe it's going to have to be some jail time to be had because it's because it's so it's, it's so many cases. Where it isn't just hoaxy type of behavior It's so many cases in which women say this or say that and they personally pin it on a guy. It isn't just like lofty like these couple cases. You 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 kind of lucky that these couple cases were like, oh, they didn't personally lane, name someone. But, you know, uh, Michael Irvin wasn't as lucky. You know what I'm saying? He had the countersuit. And, and, he, and the luck would have it that the woman that accused him was working for the Marriott. So he was able to countersuit and get some money. Otherwise, he would have just been spending thousands upon thousands upon thousands of dollars to defend his name where he didn't do it. He talked to this woman for all of 45 seconds. And she said, he said this, and he said that, and that, 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 right? And so many witnesses said that it was totally false. And in so many of these cases, just like this one, if Michael Irvin hadn't, if she hadn't worked for the Marriott, where in which Michael Irvin was able to sue the Marriott, there would be no repercussions. Why isn't that young lady in jail? You understand? Because her bringing the accusation to him is going to be one or two things. Either he's going to pay money if he's guilty or he's going to go to jail. So if she can pay no money, why isn't she in jail for the accusation? I've always said that the accusation should, should I mean, it should pay like your way. You know, if you accusing a man of saying he did this, that, and the other to you, and his his sentence, he looking at 20 years, if he get convicted of this, if it comes out that you are an absolute funky-mouthed liar, you should be looking at that same 20 years. And I'm not saying that this is what should apply to Carly's situation, but I am saying that some jail time, I think, should be had. I'll let the people decide what y'all think is uh, necessary as far as jail time, this, that, and other, but I do think something more than a fine should be in order because how many more times are we to let these type of things materialize without no repercussions? I, I just don't think it's a good place to be in to let these type of things keep going because Y'all, y'all don't pay no attention when men are targeted. When men receive the brunt of this target, and men are called to be this, that, and the other, and they all oh, they they say you put your hands on them, you, you did this, and you know they they caught the boxer. Beyond, uh, I can't think of his name, but his his girl called the called the people to the house, and because he was a boxer, they automatically believed the woman. Oh, he beat her up. He did all it. No, where where is the where is the retribution for when you find out that this chick was lying through her raggedy teeth? And it needs to be something other than oh oh you lied okay never mind go on about your way you know what I'm saying when it comes to these hoaxes and all this stuff and these chicks that are lying to the law, when you get the law involved in your lie, uh, I don't know, man, you, you, you might need to get a little taste and see, <laughs> you know, something other than just, oh, never mind, we caught you in your lie, but whatever, you know what I'm saying, but this is your boy P. Cam, let me know what you think, what you don't think. Get at your boy.